Hey, where will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. What I do know is that this is 4F Beauty and lockdown has sent me so stir crazy I've gone back to 2014 and I'm going to do a tag. <laughs> yep. This is my book of inspiration. I can think of quite a few channels that wouldn't mind getting their hands on this right now. Mm -hmm. So, this is going to be my lockdown quarantine type tag. So if you're interested in finding out just exactly how nuts or otherwise this is sending me, you've got the best seat in the house and as I've said for some time and oft here echoed elsewhere in less imaginative places, grab a drink. Grab a snack. Put your feet up. And enjoy. See they come. Okay. 20 questions because I'm bored and I kept thinking of more questions and I got to 20 and thought I'd better stop. <laughs> so, question one. Who are you quarantined with? The hubby. Um, although being an essential worker, of course, he still has to go out to work. Two. What has been the hardest part of quarantine? Oh. Not seeing family and friends and my god kids. I miss giving my god kids hugs. I miss just. You know, having all four of them come rushing up for a hug when we walk in the door and, and sort of, you know, going to the mother-in-law's at the weekend and eating a roast prepared by my brother-in-law after I taught him how to cook. He does it very well. Um, but yeah, it's, that's the hardest thing, I think, not, not seeing family and friends very isolating. Three, what are you missing most? Well, as well as the contact with others, it's like even my, because I mean to be fair my, my daily life hasn't really changed a huge amount because hubby still goes to work, I wasn't going out much anyway because of pain levels and social anxiety and everything. But I used to have like little daily chats. The postie would stop for a five minute chat or you know, the woman that delivered my meds would have a chat and hey, how are you doing? How's the family and blah blah blah. And you don't get that now. You get a knock on the door, you open the door, there's a parcel on the doorstep and whoever it is is like halfway up the drive going, Hi Um so that's that's really difficult because it's very isolating being disabled anyway. Um, and when the little bits of interaction you had during the day have gone completely, that's, yeah, that's really, really hard. Really hard. Let me just take, I put my phone back on silent. Yeah, I did. Good. I just haven't panicked though that my phone's going to go nuts. Four, have you been binging TV, films, Netflix or YouTube? YouTube and Netflix absolutely. Um, when I'm not filming, I'm either watching YouTube or I'm watching something on Netflix while I'm editing films or planning future films or logging stuff I've already done, etc. Five, are you eating more takeaways? Yes, we are. Um, we're having at least once a fortnight, that's once every two weeks, um, whereas it used to be sort of like once a month we'd have takeaway, it's now, you know, it's, it's doubled, we're now having it like twice a month, so, yeah, not good. 
Six. What is your favourite quarantine comfort food? Spaghetti made the way that uh, Antonio's mama taught me, which is basically butter and salt. No tomato sauces, no creamy sauces, no meat, just spaghetti with butter and salt. Just, mm. Maybe a few fresh shavings of cheese across the top of it, if I'm in the right mood, but yeah. Yep, definitely. Seven. Soft pants, hard pants or PJs? Uh, for me, it's it's pretty much... It, um, I dress the top half of me out of my PJs, but the bottom half is usually in pyjama shorts or loungewear, sort of you know, knee length shorts that I, I tend to sort of just slob around the house in. So yeah, definitely not hard pants of any variety for me. Thank you very much. Eight, have you cut your own or your partner's or your kid's hair? Yes, both mine and my hubby's, but I cut both of our hair anyway. So that's nothing new. Nine, have you started a new or picked up an old hobby? Yes. See these nails? These are acrylic. And I did them. This is my first ever attempt at doing my own acrylic nails. They're not full cover ones stuck on like I had been doing during quarantine. These are tips with acrylic on them. And I did them. That's why they're not pointed, because I'm, I'm not clever enough yet to do the points. I'm starting simple. So, yes, who knows? It may save me a fortune in the long run. Ten, do you go outside every day? Um, yep, I stand outside my back door, leaning on the rail for sort of 10, 15 minutes a day, just for my vitamin D and my sunlight, etc. But that's... That's pretty much it for me, unfortunately. Eleven, best binge-worthy series. I've got to say Tiger King, haven't I? Hee Mama's got something for you. Um, and Life on Mars, the UK version I've been re-watching. If you've watched the American version and hated it, I'm not surprised. I watched the American wow. version and hated it. They changed so much of the humour and they certainly changed the ending. So if you can watch the UK version of Life on Mars, do it. It's a proper treat. You'll love it. Especially episode five of the second series where uh, a childhood programme starts the episode. 12. Have you kept a routine or had no schedule? Uh, we've kept a routine because, as I said, hubby is classed as an essential worker. He works at a hardware store and things like toilets and stuff still need mending. So, uh, yeah, he's still been going to work. So we've, we've still had a schedule, which is, in one respect, is good because at least it helps us keep track of the days, you know. 13. Where are you currently parked? On my drive. <laughs> 14. Have you had to go without anything? Um, food wise, not really. We've managed to get pretty much... It was a struggle getting hold of mints and getting hold of pasta the first couple of weeks. Um, but that's, you know, the... the the um, supermarket chains have, have got that all sorted out now. It's, it, there's, there's, there's little that you, you can't get. Um, but I have had to go without hugging my friends and my family and my godkids. And that's, that's not nice. I've hated that. 15. When did you last wash your hair and how many days in a row have you used dry shampoo? Uh, well, as you can tell, it's still wet because it's, uh, it was washed this morning in the shower. 
maximum I've done is probably three, maybe pushed it to a fourth day if my pain levels are high in terms of dry shampoo. But again, because of my pain levels, um, I normally only wash my hair two or three times a week anyway. So again, no real change there for me. 16. When did you last put on makeup that wasn't for a video? Probably the first week of lockdown. After that, I'm just like, if I'm not filming, I can't be asked. <laughs> be quite frank. What time have you been getting up? Half past four in the morning. That's the time Hubby's alarm goes off. And once I'm awake, that's it. Well, I'm usually awake before then because I'm. <sighs> my pain is usually woken me up long before then. So by the time half four comes around, I'm like, yeah, it's time to get out of bed. <laughs> How many hours sleep are you getting? My usual, really, averaging between one and three, depending on how the night goes, how the pain levels are, what the temperature's like, if it gets too hot I can't sleep. Um, and if I do get three hours, it's not three hours in a row, it'll be 20 minutes here, half an hour there, so. Not very restorative, but I'm kind of used to it, to be honest. 19. What is on your quarantine playlist? So what are the first 10 songs on your quarantine playlist? For me, because I literally went through this morning and because I have a, a playlist that I play when I'm in the shower um, and I regularly chop and change that around depending on how I'm feeling. So the current playlist for the shower is Juice by Lizzo, Here Kitty Kitty and I Saw a Tiger from Tiger King. <clears throat> Thank You Baked Potato by Matt Lucas. If you've never experienced that, he's a UK comedian. Um, and, and Thank You Baked Potato is his magnum opus, I would say. Um, nice to meet you, Megan Trainer and Nicki Minaj. Uh, Between Heaven and Hell by Rob Safi. Last Resort, Papa Roach, Still the Good Old Days, Cheryl Crow, Old Town Road by Lil Nas and Billy Ray Cyrus, and Gucci Gucci by Crenshaw. So yeah, little bit of a mix there. Some old, some new, some expected, some a little off the wall. And question number 20, how are you? Honestly, how are you? Uh, not great. I've gone from loving playing with new makeup and eager to film and frustrated that I can't because of pain to my motivation to film being so low. Literally, the film I recorded before this, I need to edit because it goes live tomorrow and that's most unlike me I've normally got I'm normally at least two weeks ahead with all of my filming and I've normally got at least nine films in reserve because I try and do three films a week and I've normally got nine films in reserve so if I'm not well or I'm on holiday or I just need a break for whatever reason I know I've got three weeks worth of stuff um, and I haven't I, I haven't got any films um, I think I'll have I'll have this one as an extra um, and there's a mini tutorial that I did that I've got as an extra but at the moment that's it and um, yeah it's it is very very difficult for me at the moment um, even though my life hasn't really changed that much just losing that little bit of contact that I have with others is it's even more isolating than before so that's having a knock-on effect but you know one foot in front of the other gotta keep going ain't you nobody else will do it for you um, 
and then if you do this tag tag some people to do it as well please so I'm going to tag Anya and Nona my YouTube wife is I'm going to tag Anne I'm going to tag Jessica Malin uh, Angelica Lirma Kaylee my 24 hour clock buddy and Stacy from Stacy's Makeup Corner so there we go this was my quarantine lockdown 20 question tag no you're not in 2016 it's fine it's still 2020 and it's still locked down <sighs> right if you're one of my 4F babies please let them check you are still subscribed YouTube are unsubscribing you and cheekily they are leaving me in your feed so that you don't realise you've been unsubscribed uh, once you double check that would be awesome if you could hit the thumbs up for me if you haven't got a YouTube channel answer the questions for me in the comments box because I would be really interested um, just to find out how you're going really even if you only answer question 20 how are you honestly um, you know it's 4F family and I consider you family part of my world uh, if you're new here hi hello welcome um, I'm guessing there was something you enjoyed uh, if you've made it this far through so uh, it'd be awesome if you too would like to join the 4F family the nicest family on YouTube it's super easy you hit that subscribe button turn it from red to grey then you ring the notification bell say yes however many times YouTube are currently asking you whether you're sure you want notifications say you want all the notifications and hopefully they'll tell you about I don't know one in four maybe uh, but talking of my films there are an awful lot of others that you can currently choose to watch uh, pick a playlist and as I have said for some considerable time now grab a drink Grab a snack, put your feet up, and indulge. Right, my darlings, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is you'll stay fabulous, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.